everyone. I just wanted to show you another cell that I built. This one is the one that's actually going to go into my wife's Ford Escape. We have nine plates. They're three or four stainless steel. And it goes like this. Positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive, neutral, negative, neutral, positive. Like this. Everything's held together by stainless steel screws and nuts, spacers. The spacers are actually nylon spacers. They're about, about one sixteenth of an inch thick. And then uh, everything's held together here by nylon washers, some rubber grommets, so to create tension. And uh, the leads I have painted with liquid electrical tape so that uh, the copper wire coming in doesn't make contact with the water. So I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to run it at about 20 amps, which is the operating amperage for the car, and you can see the production that comes out of this. Okay, we're hooked up and ready to go. This uh, water is a little bit dirty. It's a little bit has a little bit of oxidation in it. Um, it's the same water that I always use for my experiments. It's um, it's almost a gallon of water, and it's about one and a half tablespoons of baking soda, and that's it. That's all that's in there. I'm going to turn it on now at 20 amps, and uh, well, you can see for yourself. It's just about 20 amps. The water is room temperature, by the way. It's about 70 degrees. hear that. But it does a really good job. This cell does a really good job. I'm really pleased with this. And the plates of stainless steel I got from a stainless steel shop, or a, a sheet metal shop, and I, they were scrap pieces, so I paid almost nothing for the stainless steel. It was, I got a whole package of it, probably around 30 pounds of the stainless steel for uh, $12 or something like that. And that's it. That's my latest. I'll talk to you again soon.